welcome back to my channel it's wangoi patogo here and if you're new to my channel i create content around cooking cleaning and organization i also do a day in the life vlogs and hauls so i recently moved and i have already started pimping my house and i thought of starting this whole journey with a living room tour i'm going to share with you how it looks like now and uh, of course explain to you the things that i intend to do to the space and the things that i intend to add to the space i am also going to share with you the things that are already in the space where i got them from and how you can also buy them all right yeah so this video is a living room tour i'm gonna start with this because it is one of the put together rooms in the house so guys if it's your first time joining us here welcome welcome so much <laughs> this channel is all fun cool vibes easy um vibes we chat we interact we share we learn we inspire we motivate each other welcome to my channel my name is wangoi if you're new here please make sure you subscribe to the channel you don't want to miss any more content from me so please please make sure you subscribe to the channel also also please make sure your post notifications are turned on so each time i upload a video you will be the first to know you will get a notification straight to your phone alerting you of a new video from me all right so make sure you do that also if you enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up comment down below and let me know your favorite part of this living room and let's chat all right yeah so without further ado let's get straight into the living room tour so just like i did the empty house tour we're going to start from the door so the door has nothing much going on but i have a small gray mat this is how the mat looks like i got this mat from think twice it was about five four hundred four hundred five hundred shillings i always thrift pieces from there and i'm going to share with you more that i have gotten from them so yeah so i have put this mat here of course just to you know dust our feet when we come from outside there's nothing much going on at the door just that the only other thing that i would like to share is this curtain that i got from amina housemart amina housemart partnered with me to make amazing beautiful sheer curtains for my new house and she made the cutest plain simple curtains i have always wanted to have shears in my house and so i asked her to make some for me you're gonna see more curtains that she did for me for the rest of the room that is the two windows i have in this living room space so i am going to give you further details on how you can get yourself a pair or a god knows how long and how many curtains you need for your space i'm going to do this at the end of the video i'm also going to share plugs on the other items that i mentioned in this video as we continue all right yeah so straight ahead from the door there is this beautiful 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 snake plant i got this plant from the area i used to live um in before i moved i am also going to share with you a plug of that guy that sells amazing amazing plants and they are quite affordable so the plant came with the pot it has in the pebbles as well the white pebbles i have had it for about two months now it was almost dying when we moved it had a bit of a bend i think the move was not good on it but it survived so it is doing well and it is one of the most amazing plants for dark spaces and that is why i have put it at that corner the next to the spider plant is this mirror that i have had for over five years i had this mirror made when i started working i was living by myself and i needed a black mirror so i had it made and i have just placed it there just to you know just have a beautiful corner when you come in from the door it's not as long as i would want it to be but it, i just decided to place it there because i didn't have anywhere else to style it you the couch 
this couch I have had for over five years. It was the first and the only couch I have ever bought. It comes in a black velvet color and material which I really really love. It has held up so well but I intend on changing it and getting a new couch but for now it is serving us. So the couch is a two-seater. You would call it a three-seater a small three-seater or a big two-seater and it serves us well it has been for the longest time so yeah i really like it so on the couch i have this amazing amazing beautiful beautiful throw pillows the throw pillows came with the couch five years ago but i had uh i have pimped them up of kind of fluffed them up by adding fiber but the throw pillow covers i got from amina house smart guys how many times do I have to scream? I mean, how smart sells thrifted throw pillow covers and even throw pillows. So I get those from her. And when she has beautiful neutral toned uh, throw pillow covers, I always make sure I get them. So I have like 20 of these. It's an obsession, but I really, really love the quality they come in. So this set is a black and white set and it also comes with a plain white one that has fur on it. It is really pretty and this is why I love to pair them together. The black and white really matches together and as you will see the rest of the room I have a lot of black and white pieces. So yeah, black and white is definitely my theme but I am looking forward to changing it a bit or maybe bringing in some color but for now we are working with black and white. So yeah, so the cushion covers from Amina Housemart, really, really beautiful. Then I have this blanket, this black and white blanket, throw blanket, I got from Think Twice. I thrifted it there and it was, I think, 300 shillings. I really love it because of the texture and the color it comes in, as I have mentioned. My house is mainly black and white. Anyway, like I have all things in black and white, including my clothes. I really do love black and white. So when I saw it, I had to get it. So I have just used it to style the couch. I switched them up together with the other throw blankets that you will see. But yeah, this is what I have right now. On one arm of the couch, I have a black throw blanket. I also got that from Think Twice about a year ago and it's still holding up. The quality is amazing. This is a fleece blanket. So when it's cold, I use that to like cozy up on the couch and just feel comfortable. you're gonna see in a minute i got this together from a foodie that one of my fellow youtubers shared and i thought of just giving them a try so i sent them my measurements and they did such a good job the man or the foodie if i may call him that just did an amazing job and i have never seen such an efficient foodie he kept time and he is quite affordable for the design of coffee table that i have he charged me quite a good deal so if you're looking for amazing amazing coffee tables and tv stands or any woodwork that you would like done please consider him i'm going to leave his number down in the description box you can call him and get your pieces from him so yeah so this coffee table comes in a very small small size which i really like because i really do not need a big coffee table i don't need a big coffee table it has a cute design this is kind of a mid-century modern design which i really like it has it is an all white coffee table with brown legs so that is what I wanted because I wanted to change up my theme to more white and browns and uh, steer away from the blacks. It has four shelves and two of the shelves have drawers. In one of the drawers I have kept my books and my work items and it comes in handy for extra storage because in this living room I don't have much space for storage so the drawers are coming in handy. The other drawer is empty as of now but I use it to like just throw in cables and remotes and all the other two one i have used to style my 
three books the only three books i have in this house <laughs> i hope to buy more and read more and i have also placed a few knickknacks a few uh salt shakers the sugar dish and just things that i might need you know from time to time the top of the coffee table is pretty basic but i have used this amazing gray mat that i got from house of leather if you didn't watch that haul please go and watch it you're gonna see a lot of pieces that i got from there so i'm using this mat to style the coffee coffee table specifically because the paint is quite brittle and I feel like if I keep uh, placing cups and plates on top of the coffee table it might chip or it might stain so I'm looking for a long-term solution maybe to have the coffee table varnish to be clear varnish clear wood varnish but as of now we're just gonna use this uh, mats to just protect the surface i also have this small is this a hexagon or is it a pentagon i really don't know i think it's a hexagon i got this from house of leather like two years ago i have had it for the longest time and i love that it goes with the theme that is the brown legs of the coffee table so i've just used it to style the top of the coffee table with my small small succulent that is almost dying it got bruised when we were moving so i intend on changing that and getting a new succulent for this pot so yeah so that is all about the coffee table TV stand I wanted to share details of this carpet and I have had numerous numerous questions about where I got it I guess it's because it's very unique and I haven't seen anyone with this carpet this is a 4 by 6 carpet and I got it in this league like five years ago it has held up so well and all these years I have used it it hasn't chipped it hasn't done nothing like it is in great condition at that time i bought it i think for five thousand shillings i don't think you can find it anymore there but i'm sure you can find a beautiful carpet in ocd so this is the carpet we're using for the living room i love that it's black well not really it has black and white strands but it's, it comes across as blackish grayish which works perfectly with the thing that i am going for <music> which is my favorite part of this living room so first up i'm gonna talk about my two monstera plants that i got from the guy i have just told you i'm going to leave his details so in case you're looking for affordable plants you can reach out to him so my two monsteras are styling the tv area as of now they are beautiful and one of them is even getting a little baby leaf <laughs> i really really love these plants and i have just come to love them so much they're so easy to take care off i just need to water them like once a week maybe spritz the leaves um with some water and that's it they are just so beautiful and i love the pots so much i got the pots in black with white splashes of course because i love black and white and they've been working perfectly fine for the space so yeah so my two beautiful plants are the epitome of this tv stand tv area <laughs> So let's talk about the TV stand. So I got the TV stand from the same guy that made me the coffee table. So the TV stand is all white with brown legs, just like the coffee table, which is what I really wanted. I really love bright pieces and it has come together so well with the black TV and the black DVD and just how it has come together. I really, really like it. So it has two shelves, which are open shelves where I can use to store like my devices 
for deco items and now i'm gonna talk about the deco pieces that are on the tv stand so this white verse i got from house of leather if you watched my video then you know about it then down at the bottom i have a small candle holder that comes in form of a pot it is really pretty i thrifted this piece from a thrift shop nearby then next i have two wooden plates they are kind of deco pieces but i tend to call them plates i have stacked them together and on top i have a small cute little candle holder it is so tiny but it is so pretty since it goes well with the white and wood theme so i am mixing a lot of woods and ceramics and the ceramics that i'm going for are mainly white just to you know pop up that color so this is why i have used the white and brown on the coffee table just to complement the white tv stand and the brown legs so next to the deco wood pieces i have a soup jug i would call it or a soup pot i got that from the thrift shop too and i really really like that jug it looks really pretty on the coffee table but maybe if i get more pieces to style the coffee table i will use it to style the kitchen because anyway it belongs to the kitchen but for now we're gonna keep it there so on top of the tv stand where the tv is i have two glass bowls that i got from house of leather one i shared on the haul that i just did from house of leather so it has just pebbles that i got from there as well including older ones that i had gotten still from house of leather i just mixed the pebbles plus some shells that i had gotten from the coast when i had traveled there and mixed them up all together then divided into the two bowls and placed them on top with an IMS chair. This IMS chair I got from an Instagram shop that I'm going to link below. So in case you're looking for an affordable IMS chair, you can reach out to him. It is an all white brown legs IMS chair and I really like that it goes with the theme with the TV stand and with the coffee table. The bright airy theme that I'm going for, it works really perfectly. So I used to use this chair as my desk chair in the other house but currently since I have another one, I'm just using it in this corner and next to it is this gold mirror that i got from my sister this is her mirror she came with it when we moved in together so we're just keeping it here just to decorate the space and it gives such a beautiful reflection of the monstera plant and also of one side of the couch when you're sitting there so it gives the illusion of a bigger space of course i'm going to get a taller mirror so that we can of course enhance the space in here but it works perfectly now and i use it to hide the cables um the extension that has all the cables to the tv the stand our laptop chargers and all so, yeah. show you how they look like i would love to introduce you to my other two beautiful beautiful plants this is one beautiful prayer plant i got it from the same guy that i got the monsteras and the snake plant from i really really like it and i love that at night the leaves come together as if they are praying hence the name the prayer plant and it has small dots small dark green dots that look like their fingers when the leaves come together it gives an illusion of two hands praying so i guess i guess that's why they call it a prayer plant so i really really like it the next 
So my prayer plant is a jade. This is a type of a succulent. And I had a jade before, but I killed it. <laughs> I am hoping to keep this one alive. It's a small jade. And yeah, it is just beautifully sitting there. And I love it. So those are my little, little cute plants. Plus the monsteras and the snake plants. Guys, if you are looking for amazing, beautiful plants on a budget, please call that guy gonna hook you up he'll bring the plants where you are as long as you're along thicker road he's gonna deliver to you let's talk about the curtains because this is what most of you have been waiting for so i got these curtains from amina house smart as i had mentioned when we were talking about the door so the curtains are sheer curtains because I didn't want any heavy material on the walls because one, this room is very small, very, very small and it is very limited in space so I can't have anything crowded or anything make it seem smaller than it is already. So I wanted to get sheer curtains and mainly because these windows the type of windows here do not pass light from outside that is if you're outside you can't see inside really unless you're like too close to of course the window panes but yeah so i got the shears i got double shears that is the shear for the inside rod and the shear for the outside rod the inside shear has a fold and the outside shear has the ring and tape so yeah so that it's easy for me to open and close so amina reached out to me and told me that she wanted to give me curtains and i was so grateful because good lord jesus i was so grateful because lord jesus these windows are big i knew i was gonna spend a lot a lot of money so she made me these beautiful curtains and i cannot thank her enough so please guys if you are looking if you are if you are deep in the rabbit hole of adulting and you're looking for affordable curtains reach out to amina houseman i'm going to leave her number in the description box tell her i'm going to send you for maybe a discount tell her i sent you she will give you a good rate and she will do a good job for you so the curtains currently are quite long they are longer than i had wished but the guy that was doing them had to add a few inches just to be sure because apparently my windows from the ceiling to the floor are really short and he wasn't sure if i had taken the right measurements so they opted to make longer ones instead of being the size that i had sent them which was okay i just need to measure correctly and then take them to a fully nearby just to have them you know folded to a shorter size yeah for ease of opening and closing and also just you know to prevent them from collecting dust on the floor that i have with this space so that we can all look forward to it number one i'm gonna start with this to this stand area it is very plain and i really don't like how plain it is and this is why i got the frames i got from house of leather remember guys i had told you that i'm going to use them to style the tv area so i intend on using three frames at the bottom then two frames on each side of the tv and then there's a provision for a light and i'm looking for a beautiful light that i can place there preferably a white or black or gold light so that it can you know of course bring pour down pour down the light to the three frames at the bottom anyway it's hard to explain right now you might not get what i mean but i will definitely change up that and then of course i intend on getting a bigger mirror to place here so that there's kind of a separation between the living room and the corridor so this is short i hope to find a longer one that i can mount here and just make that a beautiful space other updates i am looking forward to is changing the couch because it's kind of worn out I, it's not too bad but it's kind of worn out and if you have had velvet couches before then you know they tend to chip 
over time yeah so i need to change the couch i wanted to change the material but i don't like the design either so i want to get a beautiful simple design that will go with the rest of the furniture in this room and then yeah i might change the carpet if i get the couch in the color that i am looking forward to getting and maybe i feel like maybe the carpet will not match the couch then but for now this will work so yeah, so I don't have much to do in the living room. Maybe get a small stool to place my plants. Maybe get a few wall hangings. Maybe get a hanging plant on this corner of the, the corridor. And when I do, I am going to share with you. organized it and how I have styled it now I haven't done much in, in fact I haven't bought anything since I moved in here so these are all items I moved in here with and so of course I haven't done much work to the space but when I do I am definitely definitely going to give you guys an updated living room tour yeah so I hope you enjoyed the pieces if you want any of these pieces that I have here Please use the plugs that I have shared. Go to Think Twice for the thrifted blanket. Talk to my plants guy if you want beautiful plants. Talk to my furniture guy if you want a fundi. A fundi that will keep time and deliver quality. Please, please just talk to them. And finally, if you're looking for amazing curtains, throw cushion covers, bed pillow covers, duvet covers, carpets any soft furnishings for your house talk to amina house smart her number is in the description box as well as everyone else's number so that is all i had for you guys today i hope you enjoyed the living room tour and if you did make sure you give the video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this entire tour and yeah let's chat in the comments give me ideas to me please just share share the ideas you have of this space and let's just bump it up anyway guys thank you thank you so much for watching i will see you 